Hi, my name is Danny, and welcome to Esoteric Moments. Today I wanted to do a video where I talk about creating space. This is one of my goals for 2016 and it's something that I've been working on in my office uh, throughout the fall months. I was feeling really frustrated and not very engaged with my day job. Uh, there are a lot of amazing and wonderful things about it. I get a steady paycheck and healthcare and it's super laid back. I don't have the type of stresses that a lot of people do at work, but it's not as fulfilling as I think it could be. It's definitely not my purpose or vocation in life, but I am committed to making the most out of it and really learning as much as possible from the job that I have currently. In order to do that though, I need to feel more comfortable and inspired at work. So I've changed my desk area around and I wanted to share some things that I've done that have really helped me tap into my spiritual life and my practice while at work because I spend most of my day at work. I don't even have a window. So it's really hard to connect to nature and druidry uh, when I'm busy thinking about you know mundane things. Hopefully some of these ideas will help inspire you in whatever workspaces you have or even your sacred space that you keep at home or uh, you know whatever space you're creating in this new year. So the first thing I love about my desk right now is I am full of plants. Hopefully they will continue to grow really well and I will get even more potted plants but I spent a little extra money getting beautiful ceramic pots with a glaze that matches each other but they're all different colors and lots of you know bright fun colors. All of these plants seem to be working really well in the office environment. A few of them I've had for a couple years in that office so I know that they're thriving. All of that green space just kind of blocking the ugly cords in my computer and in my visual site when I walk in the door right away is really calming and makes me feel so rooted. I know that there's green around me, living, breathing, and I am connected to it. I've also incorporated some crystals in my workspace. I have a carnelian stone that is a really heavy, big palm stone. I love to hold it when I'm feeling kind of carried away by frustrations or emotions and I don't feel as connected to my body and the moment. It's also very empowering, so it's great for the workspace. I have some other crystals that help just kind of purify the space, keep negativity at bay, and allow me to see just a little sparkle in my day, which is fun. There are citrine and amethyst and other stones. Um, some of them are tiny. I've just kind of been collecting them as I go along. I also took an entire section of my desk and devoted it just to my spiritual practice. Hopefully it's not super overt. I just needed something that reminded me that I am a spiritual being and work is work, but I have a multifaceted life. Life. I've done that by adding some burlap cloth. I have a singing bowl which I use every morning to clear my space and center me in what my intention is for the day. I have a Himalayan rock salt lamp that warms the space, clears negativity, just makes me feel more comfortable in my very corporate-y feeling office. I added a beautiful and kind of pricey but so worth it ceramic tea kettle. It is electric so I can heat about three cups of water in it and have tea all day long. It adds some humidity to the space which makes me feel more comfortable um, and keeps my skin from being all icky in the workspace. Feels more homey and I love tea. I love how it affects me and it's been an investment that I am so proud of. Behind my kind of sacred space on my desk, I have a photo of a goddess image and the artist is the same that did the chrysalis tarot, which I recently got and love. The artwork is so bright, 
It's beautiful. If you haven't seen any work by Holly Sierra, definitely check her out. Lovely. Above that, I have some dried flowers that I got at the farmer's market. Again, bright nature, a reminder of the joy in my practice. And since they're dried, they're kind of this unique in-between phase between life and death. And it's very cyclical. And I think apropos for reminding you that projects come and go, people come and go, your life is part of the cycle. I spent a lot of time thinking about where I wanted to invest money and where I wanted to find objects. I don't think it's necessary to invest lots of money into making a sacred space, but in the office I'm pleased with how I've invested that money and I think it was worth it to to do the more consumerish edge of paganism and and make it classy and appropriate for the workspace. In the comments below, I would love to hear if you work the cubicle life and if you do, how do you make sacred space at your office? Workspace is important and as pagans we all seem to know that when we're playing with our altars or making meditation rooms or witchy work cabinets or things like that, but I hear so very little about sacred space in the rest of our life. Um, at your day job, in your kitchen, uh, in your living room, whatever it might be. Please, I, I would love to hear more and if you make a video about sacred space in, a, in an office or something, leave a link because I am curious to, to see how other people do it and would love to make mine even better. Steal all of your great ideas. Hope you're having a great week and as always, may you find peace in the sacred grove.